What's going on guys? Gary here with RAS Group. Today we're going to do an, another initial product overview. This one, Modern Material Patrol Rifle Gen 4, 14.5, chambered in 5.56. This is their latest rendition of, I would argue, their most standard rifle that they offer on their site. And we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about the objective upgrades and uh, improvements that have been made to the lineup. I am a ModMat fan. I, I personally run a ModMat rifle as my go-to rifle. I like the company. I like the guys that run it. I like the people that represent it. If you think that that makes me biased and this means absolutely nothing, I get it. I understand. But, uh, you know, nonetheless, I'm going to be trying to stay pretty objective here. We're going to start at our muzzle, which is still a Modern Material V2. I'm sorry, Modern Material Signature Muzzle Brake. This one is the V2. As you can see, I have this Griffin Armament blast shield attached to the front. And that is because the V2 is different from the V1 because it includes NATO grooves for silencers, flash hiders, suppressors. In modern day, not my favorite way to mount a blast shield, can, suppressor, whatever you're using it for. I'm also not a huge fan of compensators. I much more prefer a flash hider. I would be really stoked if Modern Material would come out with their own version of, say, like the Sons of Liberty Gunworks Knox, where it's kind of half flash hider, half compensator. But that's me nitpicking on a personal preference, not necessarily what everyone else is looking for. So that's freaking awesome. Coming directly behind that, we have some improvements to the handguard. Um, as you can see, the forward most M lock slot is seven sided. Coming back from that, we have five slots all the way down the rest of the handguard. The original mod mat that I got, the OG mod mat 15, I think it is, had four standard M lock slots or sections, or I'm sorry, three. We had three, six, nine o'clock with 12 o'clock being Picatinny. So this is cool. This is awesome that they've seen where the industry's going. They've heard what people want and they're making improvements based off of that. Now I will say I don't use any of those because I am running a Unity Fusion Hub up here um, with the folding front sight, a Unity hot button, light wing, and then the Sock F Special Edition Mod Light, I believe it is the PLH 18650. Just wanted to have this because it's a gray rifle. I needed a light, it's a gray light and it goes towards a good cause, why not, right? So. That's absolutely awesome. Still a modern material barrel put in there. I'm not sure who manufactures his barrels for them. I'm not sure if it's in-house. But I've never had anything short of great accuracy coming out of a modern material upper. Ever. Right? So, coming back, the rest is pretty standard. We have a modern material, I would say, enhanced bolt carrier group. These things just keep on chugging. Never once had an issue with those. And then they've also upgraded the charging handle to a Radian Raptor-esque. I believe this is a Radian Raptor SL with the ModMat logo stamped right there. So that's pretty awesome. I love the upgrade of the kind of ambi latch and wider latch charging handle compared to the mil spec. A lot more companies are making this a standard out of the box, which I love to see. Keeps everybody competitive and gives the consumer the best bang for their buck, all the pun intended. Um, not part of the rifle out of the box, but just so you know, this is a Unity Fast Mount, the TAC Hunt Fish Edition in Anodized Silver. Again, gray silver, trying to just keep a thing going. And this is a Primary Arms MD25, I want to say. I've had really good success with Primary Arms Red Dots, and I'm kind of using the build breakdown or upcoming build breakdown episode on Modern Material to get some dual reps in with other companies such as Unity, Primary Arms, Mod Light, so on and so forth, right? Now we're coming down into the lower. The lower, I think, is has the most improvement overall compared to the original Mod Mat rifles. So if we look at it, it comes equipped with a Radian Talon Ambi Safety Selector, which I can appreciate. I run one of these on my main rifle. We have a B5 Enhanced Trigger Guard. We have the B5 Pistol Grip, which is a very aggressive texture, which I'm a fan of. We do not get Ambi 
bolt release or mag release. Um, personally speaking, I think if they included those options out of the box and charged an extra 100 to 125 dollars, whatever it would cost, and they pass it on to the consumer. I think modern material would be in the same conversation as a lot of these high end rifle companies that uh, people love to boast about, such as Cobalt Kinetics, Radian. I think doing that and making it completely ambi lower would in turn put Mod Mat in that conversation. Um, I added a bad lever just because I like bad levers. I think they're a good budget option to give yourself a right a right handed bolt release. If you don't like them, don't run them. That's your personal preference, and I get it. We also upgraded to an adjustable B5 systems. Uh, I want to say SOP mod, maybe not. It's a I know it's a B5 stock. I just get confused on the individual models of B5 stocks. B5 stock, nonetheless, six position. Uh, buffer tube and inside we have a spring co spring and I want to say just a standard carbine buffer so overall compared to the original mod mat rifle I got like I want to say four or five years ago this is a massive improvement massive upgrades across the board oh and I forgot to mention it also comes out of the box with a two-stage hyperfire trigger which I, I, I don't really have a lot of experience with hyperfire. I've not, here, I'll do this a little bit closer for you guys. I'm not the biggest trigger snob in the world, but as you can see here, we have our little tank up to a wall. Sorry, little tank up to a wall right here. Break. Mm, pretty good reset. Good break. So that uh, that's pretty cool, to, in my opinion, right? You're getting something better than mil spec out of the box. Um, overall, I'm pretty impressed. So this rifle retails, I want to say, for about $1,600. If you in, if you take into account all the upgrades that already come included on the rifle at your safety selector, your charging handle, your furniture, your trigger, the more options of a M-Lock handguard. I think I totaled it out to be around low-balling $300 or so. So really it's a $1,600 rifle, $1, rifle with included $300 worth of upgrades. Oh, and I forgot to also mention that they come standard with the, uh, the Slate Black Industries rail covers and a hand stop. I opted for this Unity Tactical kind of stubby foregrip but that also comes included in the box, which is pretty awesome. So, and then you can get a discount code for that that's offered by Bull Creek Strategic, Achilles Hill Tactical. They have 10% off codes. So really you're paying around $1,450 for a rifle with $300 worth of upgrades. I personally think Mod Mat is one of the best bangs for the buck in the industry. Um, I've heard a lot of people say their favorite rifle manufacturer, which is great. Everybody has a preference. But at the end of the day, I don't think you can negate how much value you get out of a mod mat, how hard these rifles run, how hard you can run them, how hard they work. Um, yeah, I'm a huge fan. So again, I may be biased. Uh, there's, a, like I said, a couple things I wish they would do. Complete ambi controls, flash hider, my castle nut wasn't staked, but oh well, big deal. You can do that yourself or have a buddy do it. Shout out to Pat Winchester at Winchester Armament. He staked mine for me. Um, yeah, I mean, that's my opinion, guys. Take it or leave it. Take it for what it's worth. In the meantime, check out the website, rasgrouptraining.com, Instagram page, at underscore rasgroup. And until next time, you guys stay safe, stay trained, stay rad. I'll be back with the next one.